All right, so now we're gonna do some rules um, that only apply to print. And uh, um, you may be wondering why you would need to do any of that, but um, to be able to control what happens when somebody prints uh, can have its, its benefits. Um, but let's, let's do something here. And let's just start up here and we'll do media print and we'll keep it at that. So we're basically just saying whenever we're in print, let's do some stuff. And uh, we're going to try and kind of reconfigure this page altogether um, so that it's printed nicely. Let's go ahead and nobody likes wasting ink. So let's, let's get rid of the background uh, color of all these divs. So in here first, sample div background none. Save that. And go ahead and refresh, right click and do print. And just depending on what machine you're using, I don't know if you'll get a preview or not, um, like I'm going to. But there you go. Now, also depending on your printer, the backgrounds might have already been hidden. So let's test that. Let's cancel out of the print. And let's go ahead and comment this out. Save that. Refresh, right click, do you print? Okay, so those are already taken out. A lot of printers do that. So we don't have to worry about that. However, I guess if their printer doesn't do that, we'll go ahead and keep this in just, uh, just to be safe. But let's do some other stuff. Let's, let's bring our paragraph div back. Okay, so do example div child. Why I've targeted this particular div to abuse, I don't know. But we're gonna. So display block. Save that. Refresh. Click print. So you see our paragraph has shown up. But if we cancel out of here, it's not on our page. Um, why you'd want to do that, I don't know. But I'm sure you could probably think of some interesting things you could do um, when someone goes to print. Tossing extra elements on there. Um, I don't know. Maybe in maybe an advertisement or some sort of promotion. Um, because if they're going to print it, they may be sending it to somebody or handing it to somebody, and why not put something on there that promotes your site? I don't know. Um, that is an idea. Let's go a step further. What I want to do is I want to set the paragraph to rest next to the, uh, the logo or the, uh, our, our logo, the image, but then the other two divs I want to set stacked. So just for consistency, let's go up here, do the rule for the first one, div child one, so for this one, I want the width. Let's go ahead and make that 25%. The width of the second child, our paragraph, 75%. And then let's create a rule for the other two. And you could just kind of copy and paste and change out the numbers here if you wanted to. Um, for these, we want to be 100%. And I will copy and paste this one. Uh, copy, 
paste. Change this to four. Save that, and uh, I'm kind of making this up as I go, so that's why I say, let's see what happens. So we refresh our page, the print. There you go. We have a whole new layout. However, looks like we're not uh, we're not fitting these two on the on the right on the same line here, and I wonder if that's because our image is a specific width. So let's cancel out of here. And let's do image width 100% height auto. And that should make that fit within the div. Um, let's do, you know, our padding might be doing some things here too that we have in our div. So for example, div. Let's kill padding, padding zero pixels, save that. Let's take a look, go to refresh, go to print. There you go, now we're side by side and these are stacked. All right, but maybe, maybe we don't want these stacked. Maybe we want to do next to each other, but kind of in a two column deal here. So let's change these to 50%. Back over, cancel out of this, refresh, print, and there you go. Now they're now they're in a uh, two-column thing here. So why I bring this up? You see, we've got a totally different layout here for print than we do on the screen. And you know, one one reason for that might be that odds are your printer is going to default to portrait. Um, you know, regular size sheet of paper in portrait mode, um, and maybe you want to lay this out for them. Whereas on the computer here, you know, we've got a widescreen monitor. Uh, we can lay the page out totally different. But um, on print, maybe we want to get rid of some of the graphics or we want to shrink things down. We want to try and cram everything into one page um, to make it nicer for the user. Um, I don't know. You know, sky's kind of the limit on what you can do with that. But it's definitely an important thing to know.